Hey you, yeah you, are you tired of the other team treating you like a punching bag? Are you fed up with seeing shield being destroyed easily in base or flag battle? Are you frustrated your team's healer doesn't use any heals? Then look no further because I have come up with a defense type build that is tanky as frack and is as trollish as that one kid that keeps using flame lightning and pitfall maps for easy wins. But before I get into the nerd specs of this build, I would like to say hello YouTube. My name is Lordagon1 and in this video I will be going over my build in great detail. And side note, this is one of my favorite builds that I use a lot. So with that being said, it's time for the video. So starting out, this is a defense build which you guys can obviously see. Now with the weapon I use, it does matter what weapon you use because there's different movesets for a lot of them, but there are ones that have the same moves and stats. So I'm using a weapon that has 5 attack power, 5 range, 2 speed, and 2 hit rate. Now the reason why I use these weapons with this moveset is because when you use the strong attack on a defense type, it's hard to make you flinch. And with this strong attack, it makes you dash forward while spinning the blade around you like a circular saw blade, which comes in handy when you need to push enemies off of your flag or base, which I will be showing you a little later how I do this. Okay, moving on to the ninja tools I use for this build. So the one I use the most is the paper bomb, just because when my ninjutsus are on cooldown, I'll place all three of them in one spot and hold block till somebody comes and attacks me and then they will go off and cause a lot of damage. Or I'll place them around the flag or base hoping one of my enemies trips over them. Now if you're going into a combat battle or barrier battle, I would suggest using either the blast bombs or if you have the scientific ninja tool fire release bullet then use that. Because this ninja tool will go through water pillar or sand shield and it's handy to use against those jutsus especially if you have two enemy ninjas using them on your flag or your base. Next up is the clothing. So I'm using lightning speed on the top piece because you need to strike faster than your enemy so you can knock them off of the base or the flag before they flip. Now the bottom skill is clear mind just so I can get my ninjutsus back as fast as possible. And the accessory piece I'm using is on Bending Will for even more ninjutsu recovery for when my health gets too low. So with the first ninjutsu, I'm using Earth Style Petrifying Jutsu. So when I use this jutsu, it surrounds me in rock which helps protect me from enemy attacks and it also heals me while I'm inside it. Now the second ninjutsu I'm using is Earth Style Subterranean Voyage. Now with this jutsu, it's almost like petrifying jutsu, but instead of rock from around me, I dive into the ground which I can move around in this jutsu, and also get health back while underground. Plus, most of the enemy's attacks can't hit me, but there are jutsus in this game that can hit me while I'm in the ground, so watch out. Okay, the substitution jutsu I'm using is clay clone jutsu, just because when I sub out, an enemy is still near the substitution jutsu, it will explode, knocking them back or even killing them if their health is low enough, which this will come in handy on a base battle or flag battle. And finally, with the secret technique, the one I use the most is Sage Mode. So when you use this jutsu, it will fully heal you and increases your maximum health and boosts your attack, defense, and movement speed, but it will seal your ninjutsu, so you can't use a ninjutsu while in this form. Now it is a pain that we can't use our ninjutsu while in sage mode, but this secret technique is clutch, especially when there's three or four enemies trying to take your flag or base, so you can pop this and defend the base or flag long enough for your team to catch up. Now before I move on to the gameplay video, this build doesn't require any of the DLCs. All you need to do is unlock Subterranean Voyage, Clay Clones, Substitution Jutsu, and Sage Mode Jutsu. Now you don't have to worry about Petrifying Jutsu because that comes in the game already as the default Jutsu for defense types. Now with other Jutsus, where you can find them is by unlocking them from VR Masters. So Subterranean Voyage comes from Kisame, 
clay clone substitution jutsu comes from Daedra, and sage mode comes from Mitsuki. Alright, with all the nerd specs and uh, details that are out of the way now, I'm gonna show you one of the battles I was in recently with this build. The reason why I'm doing this for is so that I can go over how I run this build. There's a couple of different methods and ways I do things with the build and I really want to show you how I do it and explain it play by play with this. And as soon as this damn loading screen goes through, I'm going to show you. Matter of fact, I'm going to speed it up right now. Okay, here we are loading up. Just Ready waiting for this. in this damn match. Now, you see this guy with brown coat? Watch for Let's him. Go, everyone. Man, I'm jelly of my teammate getting that Kimmy Mara outfit. <sighs> I didn't get it. <sighs> Lucky Let's him. I got like the bone weapon four or five times. Two or three on this account and two or three on the other account that I have. But anyways, let's get back to the action. So my teammates just took uh, our home base, which is A. So I'm just going along the edge right here like a ninja trying to be as sneaky as possible. And my teammate right there and he falls in the pit. <laughs> well anyways, I just come up here and go to C right away, try to get it. But unfortunately this healer saw me, so I go into Petrifying Jutsu. Oh, one good thing about Petrifying Jutsu is that when they put up the wa water pillar, I get if I activate my Jutsu before that, they can't push me out with that. I think with Sanshu they can, but other than that, yeah. Well, anyways, I uh, sub out to uh, get away from that guy, so break the line of sight, so that he thinks that I'm going over to other bases to cap him. But really, I just circled around, and I'm coming up here. I still see him there, so I think I'm going to fight him, but yet, there he goes. And I'm like, okay. Gotta be a ninja and sneak up here and take me that base. So I'm sitting here and I see the battle going on over there. <clears throat> so basically with this build, I just typically stay at a base and defend it from them. But I see that A is being taken, so I'm like, alright, I'm just going to go to A and try to take it back. But then I see that we took it back, so i just going to head over to B. Now... I didn't see this, but C was being taken, so, yeah, I do Earth Pillar to be an annoying pain in the ass, but then this guy had the best to use his pillar on top of my pillar. That's some bull crap, so I just go underground with Subterranean Voyage, weather the storm. As soon as I jump up, I plant my, uh, my paper files. See how I took out one of those guys? Now, unfortunately, I didn't have the juices up, so... The water filler knocked me out of there, so I'm like, all right, I'm just going to go back to seat. And here we go, go back to seat. That's the spot. And as I'm going back to sea, see, see I got subterranean voyage back. So I'm like, all right, I'm set. So I'm just standing there with my guard up. <sighs> just waiting. <laughs> oh. The rest of my team got annihilated by something over there. Probably someone's secret technique. They got clapped. Hard. Now I see this guy coming to see. Coming to the space to take it. I go to petrifying jutsu just in case. Which that was good because if that chocolate scalpel would have hit me, it would have took out my other one. But yeah, this guy, he does uh, water pillar. I sub out. My clay clone wipes him out. Or my paper bomb, whichever one it was. That's why I love the paper bomb with clay clone because that can kill people. Now we have this guy. Now this guy was the one with the stone pillar. So this guy threw a smoke bomb at me. He thought he was going to hit me with his uh, strong attack. The bomb blew him back. Then his healer buddy comes over and puts up water pillar. So I'm like, damn. So I'm like, okay. I'm just going to do the whole circle back thing again. Try to break the line of sight and try to get them off the base to go to another base so I can cap the base behind them. Now, unfortunately, somebody put up their uh, hit and miss jutsu, which is a pain in the ass. So I go over here. I think it's this guy that put it up. And this guy, 
it's the same guy that was running the pillar. But if you notice, he was running subterranean voids. Just like me. Now, our builds are similar, but there are a couple things different. I'm running the paper bomb. He's running smoke bomb, as you just saw right now. So he's trying to get me off the base. I'm trying to take the damn base. My bomb went off because he hit it and knocked something knocked me off. But anyways, I'm pushing the strong attack, acting like a windmill flying through there, not getting flinched because defense types, when they use a strong attack, they don't get flinched, so they don't get moved. Now, I put down the paper bombs. He tries to hit me with a strong attack again, but he goes flying. The thing about that, uh, when I put down the paper bombs and hold guard, when an enemy comes over and hits me, it kind of stops their momentum and it like has them land on the paper bomb and it blows up. See, if I'm not guarding, that momentum will push me and the bombs won't go off unless they come back. Now, at this point right now, I'm pissed because he hit me with that secret technique. So, I thought I killed him right there. And now I'm going to kill the healer. Oh, he subbed out, so I'm going to be like, okay, I'm looking for you. He had the water color, but that didn't flinch me, and I took his ass out. Now, unfortunately, I went out of sage mode, but hey, it's whatever. Now, I'll tell you one thing about that sage mode. Since it increases your attack power, it increases the paper bomb power, too. So, that defense type, he was at full health damn near there. But when he came up and hit those paper bombs while I was in sage mode, it killed his ass. Now... I have the goon squad here. I'm trying to keep them company while we back cap them, so keep it up. Oh, flame lightning again. Alright. I almost... I almost didn't survive that. Like, skin of my teeth almost touched that. So now, I'm running around this tree. Gonna come here and do C with my uh, pillar. Try to get that back. This guy thought you could hit me with that break it, but no. Alright, here I do with the original te uh, whatever technique I use with the paper bombs and block. Now, since I took it, I'm gonna use subterranean void to get back my health. But, unfortunately, uh, hit and miss due to uh, again. So I just constantly put down my paper bombs and just try to charge up my jutsu. I see, uh, I think somebody put up the water vapor, so I just go in sage mode so it doesn't kill me. Now I have the squad here, uh, two of the other squad here, other group. So I'm just trying to survive, just trying to keep their attention off of the other bases. Now, this guy is kicking my face in pretty good, but I subbed out, went to subterranean voids, get my health back up. This still is a troll. Now I go to stone pillar watch this they can't get me they can't get me but as soon as I came out they got me oh another thing is there they had the vapor up so yeah that's about it okay with that all said and done I'd like to say thank you for watching and please like subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified for when I drop my next video of Shinobi Shika or if don't do anything I just said and be a rebel and tell me to go frack myself. Lord Gone One, logging out.